Uh, Jonathan, congratulations. I thoroughly enjoyed myself in this movie. My goodness. And you're, you're taking on, you know, Wrath of the Titans. It's the sequel to the first one. What was it that, you know, was important to you to get across and, you know, ramp it up for this one? I think uh, the stuff that I loved in the first movie was the, the spectacle and the action I thought was great. And so I wanted to take that, make sure it was bigger, better, and obviously make the 3D more immersive. Uh, the first film was criticized for its 3D. They really didn't have time to do it right. So in this movie, we really took our time and took, our care, uh, took a lot of care in making sure that the 3D was as good or better than 3D you've seen. Um, and then as far as the actors, uh, Ray Fiennes, Liam Neeson, Sam Worthington, I just wanted to see more of them and get into their relationships more than uh, the first one gave opportunity for. I don't so, think there's uh, any more or better opportunity to have more of a dysfunctional family than the Greek gods. No, they're a fantastic dysfunctional family. <laughs> it's better than the Kardashians. It's great. Don't you think so? Yeah. I think they should do their own reality show, The Greek Gods. I know, exactly. Plus, you have all the creatures and stuff. It's cool. It totally works. I agree. Let's talk about that after. We'll get you going on that one. That would be <laughs> yeah. fun. Um, bringing back the actors and having the opportunity to have somebody... Well, let's first start with Sam, because mm. his passion for this is so evident from the first second that we see him on the mm. screen. He just... So into it. How you know collaborative was he about creating Perseus this time around? And just tell me about working with somebody like that, especially with somebody who has so much passion like he does. Well, Sam's like a, a brother to me because we're the same age and we grew up on the same movies. And so what was great about Sam is he gets, as you say, so passionate and so immersed and just wants to do the best job possible. I've never worked with an actor who is so aware of what an audience will feel. And it's so important to him to give an audience as massive an experience and as great an experience as possible when they watch a movie and he throws himself physically into everything i've never seen an actor be so physical uh, with action scenes and he'll put rocks in front of himself so he falls over them he is so dedicated in those action scenes he gets hurt he gets up right away comes back for another take cameras hit him in the face he ran on rooftops he got hit by you know shrapnel he, he's unbelievable in that way and then on the whole other side, we'll have intense character discussions because he's just, he wanted to make his character much deeper. And um, if you look at Sam's earlier movies, like he did some great stuff in Australia and we just really wanted to sort of go back to that and embrace his strengths with this character. Yeah, and do you ever get nervous as a director watching somebody like that take those hits? And, you know, I mean, he... Yes, it's movie magical. At, at, but, first, but... at first, I was nervous watching the stuff he did, but eventually I just took it for granted. Oh, Sam just fell off a roof. Uh, he'll be right back. Don't worry. <laughs> take five and then come on back. Not even take five. Just get the camera ready. Let's go. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, wow. And then, of course, you know, you've reunited uh, Liam Neeson and, and Ray Fiennes, and I love the relationship between them in this film because it actually shows... You know, Hades has a, a little bit of compassion. Hmm, interesting, you know. But the yeah. dynamic between the two of them, and, and Danny Houston, too, I mean, just it's just wonderful. As For you, I would think, as a director, to sit and watch these guys play. It's amazing. I mean, L Liam and Rafe are like brothers in real life, and it was so important to me to bring that of their relationship on screen and to, to sort of work with them to make sure that er their fondness for each other is apparent on screen and so um, yeah that was just a big deal is speaking to these guys and from their experience asking them how best to do that stuff and when you watch two brilliant actors play it's incredible it's as if you're watching a movie except it's your film and it's very exciting yeah and to see them do the stuff that they're doing in this movie especially with the special effects and um, you know it's, it's stuff that these guys are you know Shakespearean dramatic actors and to be able to see them in this light is fantastic. Yeah, they, they, what was so great was they, uh, you know, they love it. Rafe, Rafe is a great Shakespearean actor and he just loves the special effects. And Rafe's a great director in his own right. So that was amazing to work with him too. Yeah, Coriolanus. Yeah, I, he showed me Coriolanus and I was blown away. Yeah. I didn't, I felt embarrassed directing him the next day. No, you didn't have to be embarrassed. You did it. You did a good job. <laughs> no, thank you, but let's, still. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. That was brilliant. That Coraline. Wow, he blew me away with that mm. movie. Um, let's, and besides, who plays meaner than Ray Fiennes? Like, you look at all the mean characters he's played. Wow. He's very good at that. 
very, Rafe is very, very good at that. It makes you wonder. <laughs> it does make you wonder because he's such a nice person. <laughs> yeah. Um, look, let's talk about the challenges of the, the monsters. I want to talk mm. because there's so many amazing creatures in this. And, I, you know, what challenged you the most in terms of getting those on the big screen? And which one did you have the most fun with? The most, you know, the, the one I wanted to, there, there's different categories. The creature I most wanted to see on screen was the Cyclops. I've always wanted to see that. The creature that was the most fun to shoot was the Chimera because it's on the ground and you get to blow walls up and houses up. So it's a lot of fun to watch things explode and understand, oh, that's where the creature's going. You know, the most difficult to shoot was the Titan Kronos because there's nothing there. He's so massive, you have to have people look into the sky and pretend. And that's where it was, I was so impressed with Rafe and Liam because literally in the final scene when they're battling Kronos together, um, they're just doing hand gestures, and I was like, wow, these guys are really dedicated, because they're doing it in front of people. And they're not embarrassed. Mm. They're embracing it. No, I, I don't know, that would, to me was scary and funny at the same time, because you're like, oh, I hope the effects make this work. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, no, it's just, that, that Chimera, when you were talking about it, I, that just, un, like, I mean, that just comes out at you in the beginning, like, whoa, okay, no, I know it's the- fun. it's fun, it's like, a, it's like, a massive little battle within a village with the fantastical creature. It's fun. Yeah, it really is very cool. Uh, the Labyrinth, I want to talk to you about that because that, again, that just blew me away to watch that. But I understand that was actually, you know, yes, there's CG in that, but this, that was a set. You guys built that? Like, we explain did. We that. We built um, a few hallways <laughs> that moved and would close, and then we'd almost reconfigure them to make them like other hallways. And then, again, effects of gotten to a point which to me is amazing. For example, um, there's a scene where Bill Nye's character is manipulating a door and the door isn't there and it looks so photorealistic. It blows, you know, blows you away. And same in the labyrinth. There are many walls that close which aren't there, but I, as the director, couldn't even tell at a certain point, wait, was that there that day? I couldn't, you know, the effects have evolved to such a point. Yeah, it's just it really, like I say, congratulations. It's such an amazing job on this. Uh, mm. Rosamund Pike, bringing her into the fold, mm. you know, one of the few females. But I, I was had the opportunity to talk to her via satellite the other day, and I said to her, it was like Braveheart. I loved watching her in this movie. She was fantastic. She's great. She somehow has the power to command an army and stay completely sexy doing it, which is... I don't. I can't direct that. She just has it. So she was awesome to work with, and she brings a real sort of gravity to her role that, again, you can't take for granted as a director. She's she's a fantastic actor. Yeah. Um, the internet is a buzz with your next project. Mm. Hopefully, uh, the some mutant ninja turtle things. Mm. Uh, you know, seriously, that it, it's amazing to see just from the little stuff that's going on, on the internet. The fan base for that mm. that must excite you to no end. I think. It's always fantastic to have a passionate fan base, and everyone cares so much about uh, the turtles and and not screwing it up and making it awesome. And that's, I mean, yeah, as a filmmaker, nothing could mean more. I, I was a fan of the um, star, the the cartoons myself when I grew up in South Africa. They had it there, mm -hmm. and. Um, to be working, I've been in a room alongside Kevin Eastman who drew the first turtle, who created with Peter Laird the, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is pretty incredible. That I'm sitting next to a guy that was so instrumental in my childhood and he's sitting there drawing things and designing things and it's incredible. Your favorite turtle, come on. Raphael. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of like Donatello though. Yeah. Well, it, Donatello is very sort of geeky and inventive, but Raphael, I think, Keeps it real. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Who was the director that influenced you to do what you're doing now? I mean, the, for me, the movies I grew up on were Spielberg, Jim Cameron, and Ridley Scott. It's the the holy trinity of genius. Well, you're you're getting up there, my friend. You did a spectacular job in this, and Thank uh, you. keep up the great great work because uh, I look forward to the turtles. That'll uh, be fun. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Great talking nice to, to you. you. Thank you. You too, oh, Doug. Thank just you. Broke your no, it's fine. I, I, I'm pretty strong.